Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you all are um, doing well and have taken care of yourselves and have had a good week so far. We're halfway done. Um, because it is Wednesday night, at least at the time of my streaming this. Um, <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm dealing with a bit of a headache, but hopefully the uh, painkillers will kick in at some point soon and it'll be fine. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway, hello, hello, I hope you all are doing well, as I keep saying, um, today we're gonna get back into Watch Dogs Legion, as we, as you can see right there, but before we do that, you should absolutely check out my Patreon, uh, it's where you can support me and help me continue to make content and ensure that this content continues to actually get better, um, rather than stay the same, you know growth and all of that um but uh anyway uh you there's also a link tree where you can um absolutely uh find where um, the other locations where you can find me basically uh anyway enough of that and back to where we were All right. Ooh, a bike. I'll take that. See if I can remember how to play this game because it's been a minute. All right. So the safe house is there. What missions do we have? Right. Fixer contract. Right. 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 We have contracts for with uh, Jordy that we've got to do. Oh, that! Ooh, that was almost bad. But we made it. I have played. I've been playing way too much Gotham Knights and other, a billion other things. fine it was like that when we got here For the record, I'm an unwilling participant in whatever deep throat fantasy you're acting out of here, dude. Deep what? That's gross, man. No, it, it's an X-Files thing. You're gross. Whatever you say. Actually, it's not just an X-Files thing. Deep Throat was an actual, like, undercover CI or something like that who... Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. The car I want you to steal should be nearby. Who the fuck I are you? I bet... And this why are Marcus. you using a voice modulator? Ask the guy who's also using a voice modulator. Get the car, and maybe you'll find out. I will guarantee you that this is Marcus. I will guarantee you that this is Marcus. The way he talked, the way he, the, like, the cadence of his voice and everything, I will guarantee you that's Marcus. God, it's making my eyes bleed. I love it. Wait a minute. That music? This car? Are you? Oh my god. Don't tell me. You can't be! You know it, baby. It's the epic wrench and Marcus crossover the people have been asking for. Marcus? Thank you. Marcus! 
Ah, oh, shit. That's almost better than what I thought. Wait, who the fuck did you think I was? I won't lie. I was kind of hoping you were Jimmy Siska. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do have a surprise plan for you in that vein. This car is the car Jimmy Siska drives in the upcoming Devin Von Devin movie. Devin v. Devin. London Culling. Oh my god! Is Jimmy Siska gonna jump out of the trunk? No, Reggie, you're killing me here. Drive to these coordinates and I'll fill you in. Alright, so first off, you going AWOL without a word to your boy was rude. You're gonna apologize to me later for making me worry about your stupid ass. Yes, Mom. Now, tell me what my surprise is. Please, please, please! Retro! So remember when that teaser for Devin v. Devin London Culling dropped? Finally, Devin Von Devin was gonna return to our screens, facing off against his evil British clone, Devin Van Devin, in an epic showdown of Devins. Yeah, but after the London bombings, filming got shut down and they couldn't finish the movie. Yeah, they were missing a few big stunts, but the car and all the sets are still here. Oh my God, you don't mean. It's up to us. We're gonna film those stunts and finish the movie. Fuck yeah, we are! Oh, Marcus. Bless you, Marcus. In a world in need of a hero, one man stands in the way of humanity's destruction. Jimmy Siska returns as Devin Vaughn Devin. I am back, baby. In his directorial debut, Siska brings Devin Von Devin to the merry streets of England, where he faces off against his greatest adversary yet. I think you're seeing double. His clone, secretly grown from his DNA by the sinister spy agency Elite Shadow Force, Devin Van Devin. How can I defeat myself? Huh. The epic showdown is coming soon in Devon, the Devon, London Culling. Oh, shit! That sounds so good! I am at half-mast! Guess what we're about to do here? I see a ramp. I see a car. And if the answer isn't, we're gonna jump a car. I'm never speaking to you again. Hell yeah, we're gonna jump a fucking car. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! Nice angle on that too. That uh that 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 car's not insanely expensive or anything, right? I'm sure it'll buff out. <laughs> We've got some more shots to do. Let's roll. I was really passionate about stepping into the director's chair for Devin v. Devin London Culling. See, I wanted a chance to stretch my wings. I mean, I'm not just a handsome face, you know? <laughs> Seriously, I'm an artist. No one can really direct me. Well, I did a lot. I did a lot to prepare for the role of Devin Van Devin. I mean, what a challenge as an actor. I mean, I had to be me, but evil and British. I, I worked with a vocal coach that works with the royal family. <laughs> I'll get that authentic voice. Crikey, mate. Come on Ouch. to the pub for a point. <sighs> Devastated. 
I was devastated when we had to shut down. I mean, we were so close to done. I mean, all the talking parts were finished. But who wants to see Devin Von Devin just do Shakespeare in the park? Oh, come on. Look at me. <laughs> oh, man. Ranch right. and his BFF Marcus Going to blow stuff up, yeah, yeah Going to Cyber 2 Driver Gonna be friends with Jimmy Siska Okay, it's Ranch again, huh? So how did you know I was in London? <laughs> Just because you stopped talking to everybody doesn't mean I didn't keep tabs on you After you split with He who must not be named And can fall down a well Yeah, touchy subject, I know I won't put you on blast for it, just are you all right? What are you doing here? I hadn't finished business with Rampart. Remember that asshole? But right now, I'm gonna blow some stuff up and live out my Devin Von Devin fanfiction, and it's gonna be so epic. Hey, he's back. Let's light it up. Yeah, so remember, he was getting okay, married. This is the part of the movie where Devin clashes with Devin in their first big action set piece. A showdown of epic proportions. I can do a bigger boom. Let me have fireworks, please. Hey, you gotta run through and arm all the explosives that are set up. You need to be fast though. If you take too long, they'll automatically disarm as a safety precaution. Speed run. that up. Is there a reload? I don't remember. Computer behave. <sighs> Come on, behave. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Come on. God, this angle is hell.
I got it! Marcus, hit it! Oh, that's so beautiful. I just came a little. Every time I think I'm used to you. Okay, I want star wipes on this, Marcus. We're making art here. Lenin calling page one, Lenin calling page 42. Coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon Von Devon saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was Devon, my evil clone. He hasn't been using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devon. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. Womp. Nothing beats American made. Coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon oh, Von Devon saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was What's Devon, my evil clone. He has been using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devon. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. Hey, man. Do you think there's a chance that Devon v. Devon, London Culling, could end with Devon Von Devon losing? What? No way. There is literally nothing that can take Devin Von Devin down. Except for himself? Huh? Why else did they clone him? Who wins in a death match between Jimmy Siska and Jimmy Siska? It's, it's an impossible riddle. But his clone is not the same as him. It's not actually Devin versus himself. It's like Alien versus Predator. You know who's going to win. Oh, fuck, not this again. The Xenomorph has acid blood, Marcus. It melts through the Predator's armor. Nah, fuck you. The Predator has a stealth cloak and thermal vision and fucking rocket launchers. The Predator is the greatest hunter in the galaxy. The Xenomorph is just big game. I am turning this car around, young man. What car? <laughs> Don't have the car anymore. Just hoping I don't need the car. You know? Oh, ow! Jeez! Oh shit! Where'd the knockoff Cylons come from? They're Rampart bots. And how do I get this guy off my ass? Well, they look angry and armed. Hey, let's get out of here. Maybe we can find a different place to set up. No way. I'm not letting Rampart take Devin Von Devin away from me, too. The show must go on. Target. 
overheating. <clears throat> oh my god, Albion, move. I'm going the wrong way. The very worst of the wrong ways. No way. I'm not letting Rampart take Devin Von Devin away from me, too. The show must go on. come from they're rampart bots and how do i get this guy off my ass well they look angry and armed hey, let's get out of here maybe we can find a different place to set up no way i'm not letting rampart take that yes i know how to beat the damn bot Devin away from me too the show must go on them disintegrate before you and to hear the lamentation of their metal children. Take Devin Von Devin away from me too. 
The show must go on. I love the smell of burning carbon fiber in the morning. up to the script. Maybe we'll get writing credits for improving the third act. <laughs> you know, I can see us looking fresh as hell on the red carpet premiere. Captain Boom Boom. Footage we needed. I'm gonna cut this together and send it to Jimmy Siska's crew. And you'll add Star Wipes? And a banger soundtrack. I got you, Reggie. I'm sorry. The <laughs> wrench. Eh, you can get away with it. You coming home soon? Um, maybe. I've still gotta do some stuff here. Alright. Well, when you get your scrawny ass back to San Fran, hit me up. Everybody's been waiting to do a full crew hangout on the beach. Now, I won't lie, oh, Sitar yeah. might wanna chew your ear off for a bit. But it's with love, right? You know, that does sound nice. Thanks, man. You're buying, though. Am I? Yeah, just hurry up over there, all right? And once we get this movie out the door, you better not watch the new trailer without me. Mark it in your calendar. You, me, Devin, and Devin. I love you, man. I know. Oh, the friendship. My heart. That was really sweet.
in front of If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Wait, is she a billionaire? I was just chilling here. That's on y'all. Possible hostile at your location. Fuck me. Investigating. Stand by. Right, close this fucker down. Let's do this. How do you know I'm here? Negative, suspect is gone, issue an APW. It's really, it's really funny now that Three I had Wrench be Reginald the one to Blackman. kill her. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Oh, your fucking house knows my name? <laughs> So they locked all the doors on me. They locked the elevator? Looks like it, yeah. Oop, unless. Oh, locked. Alright. Fine. Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> Is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. French? I know you have the broker bridge. What? <laughs> No, you're right, I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. <laughs> how? Do you know what the Deep Labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret? Bring the Broker Bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do.
it really is very ironic that I had Wrench be the one to kill her now. You know? Oh, man. Alright, give me just a second. Okay. Okay, one, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me, and two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa, what? Hey, did you read my diary? No. Well, considering considering the fact we just had the mission we just had, the answer to that is of course he does. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time. On speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up. Sky said we needed to bring the broker bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. Wait, is that the broker bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the postal service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to broker tech. That, that is genuinely clever. gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. God damn it. All right, I'm here. And they've definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. Quick. 
No guns. Dirty, my dog, my guy. You, you did him dirty. That was that was not called for. fleshy to take care of than the two droids. Deep labs have been disabled. Remparts locked the whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. behind some of his buddies here too so you know that calls for a little ambiance won't that give away that you're here hey that just makes it more fun let's party See my 
team members posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons are for decorations? What you're submitting to me is unacceptable. It's incomplete. You aren't working hard enough. If you think you dare show your face here, trying to take Sky's labs, tisk tisk, Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I Not moved on works. to better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. done for, Tommy. Your company's toast, and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. All right, what, oh, wrong button. Uh. The timeline you're requesting is unrealistic. It doesn't account for any pre-flight testing or even for a proper build. I don't like excuses. And that's all I'm hearing. If your team doesn't feel motivated enough, then one of you will get randomly selected to be a test subject. Hmm? Until there's none of you left to complain. That's insane! You're insane! You know, I don't like that word either. You see my team members posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons are for decorations? What you're submitting to me is unacceptable. It's incomplete. You aren't working hard enough. If you think you can trick me and lie to me, then I'll line every one of you up against the wall and we'll see what is done to traitors. Yeah, he's gone round the bend. <clears throat> he's cracked, he's snapped, he's there. You should be back in. Then we can begin.
Come on, big guy. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. Yeah. What? Wait, what? You, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of a project. God yeah. damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared bit. about taking Rump out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, yeah. This is insane. Okay? There is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. Afraid of. Oh, Jax. Buddy. We get to play as Jax now? Yeah, we do. Cool. I hope he doesn't die. I'll be so sad if he dies. Whoa. Where am I? Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? Hmm. Yeah, this tracks for Aiden's mind. Like, let's be real. There's the house. I'm pretty sure that's the Chicago house. I'm pretty sure that's the Chicago house. I don't like that the name of this et of this mission is Bury Your Dead. Random fire uh, hydrant. Hey, this looks just like my old house. Yeah. Actually, I think it yeah. is my old house. Where I grew up. Yep. Yep. Happy birthday, Jackson. Round back. Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Yeah, there was an upstairs doorway and a... Yup, yup, that... <laughs> Happy birthday, Jackson. Honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Look at how get young out of is. here. Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden. You're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? 
go get my phone. He's so young. Yeah, that's probably the way out. Oh, climb. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is that? At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. Yeah. And I'll bet that what this is, is this was before. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. Yeah, I bet this was Aiden's room. That picture? Is that me? I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Yeah, Lena's room. This was the mom's room. This is Jackson's room, if I remember correctly. Phone's got to be in here. Oh, the balloons don't have physics on them. Shame. Gotcha. All right. Who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you weren't coming from the start instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever. Just... I took him home. We left. Yeah, she... Lord knows how many of those fucking voicemails she left on his phone over the years. Because we... In the first game, we heard at least one of them. Because it was for the birthday party in the backyard. And Aiden showed up late, but showed up. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden? I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, what is I've happening? got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. I wonder if it's blinking out like that in you say so. Oh no, everything's gone a little bit Resident Evil. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? Yeah, I bet this is what it looks like now. Because they had to leave in such a hurry, you know? I bet this is what it looks like now, cause, and I bet that's where Aiden's been staying when he's not been sleeping in a car in Chicago.
<laughs> Lena? There's no way. door open if I approach it? Yes, both open. Oh man. Okay, what happens if I go this way? It takes me back to Lena? here. Lena? Lena! Versus the dark. Let's go this way. Where does the dark go? Back to the start. I'm okay. back where I started. I better okay. pick a different path. Okay, so I need to. So what I was doing is the right thing. Okay. walls <laughs> poor Aiden man that trauma is a bitch I'll bet that's the way we need to go the door won't even open for me now My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jax, come on, you're it. Come to Ted and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? Yes. He can't let this go, so she just... haunts him? Yes. You never ri... Jax. Hold on, let's get you in the light so that I can have a, a conversation with you here, man. Your uncle never got over it and that's why he's always been the way he is he's driven by that need for vengeance and because he fucking hates himself because he blames himself because it is his fault no don't look away from me Jax you need to listen to me your uncle has gone through hell just like you have Yeah, think about that. You get to the little British alarm clock. Yeah, this has gone a little bit PT Resident Evil horror vibe. In fact, I'm pretty sure this hallway is exactly from the hallway from PT. Just reskinned. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. It is! Oh my god, it is! <laughs> oh my god, this is exactly the fucking hallway from PT! Oh my god, that's cool as fuck! Horrifying, but cool! Oh my god! So, for those of you who don't know, it has a technical des test demo and or trailer for, I think it was supposed to be like Silent Hill 2 or something, a game that got canceled. Uh, PT was released. Um, and <clears throat> it was genuinely creepy and horrifying. And basically it was a looping hallway where the protagonist, which is, it's all first person, would walk through the hallway, you'd discover the storyline, you'd be haunted by shit, and there would be puzzles you'd have to solve in order to, you know, complete the little technical test demo. 
it's no longer available to 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 purchase or to play unless you had already purchased it. And so, like, there are P there are PlayStations who have PT downloaded and installed on it that will that could go like that that go for like thousands of dollars so that people could buy it and play it because it was phenomenal, frustrating but phenomenal. But yeah, basically, this is exactly that hallway in structure. You'd start with a doorway that you'd come through. Uh, Beyond which was, I believe, some kind of like a stone, stone, uh, a stone or cement room. Uh, you'd come into this hallway. There'd be picture frames on the wall. There'd be this indentation, which had a uh, dresser and some other stuff to look at and po potentially interact with. Uh, then over here, you had another indentation with another dresser with a fucking phone and some other stuff that you could interact with. And then you could go this way, and then there would be a bathroom, uh, a door that would occasionally open and be a bathroom, and inside of that, uh, you, you'd you occasionally find, like, a, some weird fetus creature, um, some stuff in the, uh, uh, mirror, stuff like that, you know? Um, and there was also a lot of things about eyes in that, from what I recall, too. Um... And then past that, you'd enter this kind of foyer area where you'd have what was supposed to be the front door, a big open up stairs area with like a railing and stuff like that. Another indentation with stuff that you could interact with potentially. And, uh, and then a door that would shut or open depending on if you could progress to the next area or not. And quite often, this fucking phone would ring. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, this makes me so fucking happy. Oh, God. I have a visceral memory. I never actually got to play PT, but I've seen people play it. And I have this visceral memory of the first time you walk around the corner of the thi of that area and you just find this bloody fucking bridge hanging from the ceiling in the foyer dripping blood down onto the floor and oh my god that was a lot <laughs> oh man the fact that they're referencing PT makes me so fucking happy some slight steps down probably some kind of message there and then you'd be back at the entrance of that hallway oh my god that was phenomenal god where am I well you were in PT you're in the hell that Aiden has been living in the regret, the pain, the self-loathing, the burning hatred he has for himself. <sighs> Just find Lena Jax. You can do that. This will spit me out somewhere where I just came from. This is the way I'm supposed to go. Lena, this isn't funny. I don't. I don't like this. Jax, please. Get out of the 
Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. Hey, buddy. Welcome to... Well, hey, Jax, look at me again. Welcome to what it's been like for your uncle for 20 fucking years. God damn. I wish this was spookmas. This would have been perfect to play through for uh, my spookmas streams in uh, October. Jackson, Jackson, real talk here, my dude. Look at me, look at me. Real talk here. This is what your dad, your, not your dad, your uncle sees every time he closes his eyes. Every time. Think about that. Yep, there's that, this Shit. is that tunnel way. It's the crash site. You found yep. it. You win, Jax. I'm scared to be here, Lena. I don't like thinking about this day. I don't want to go through it again. It's okay. We're going to help Uncle Lena. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nikki. Oh, poor Nikki. Mom? Arden. Are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No, but maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal, but I guess Aiden hasn't. No, he hasn't, my dude. People like Aiden do not have the luxury of healing like normal people, you know? The truth of the matter is, on that day, Nikki didn't just lose her daughter, she lost her brother, too. Because the Aiden that came back was never the same, by all accounts of the games. I found Aiden's cap. There's the car. Yeah, this is some Batman re re reliving his the death of his parents shit, and I'm here for it. was phenomenal with the PT references and everything oh my god just chef's kiss absolutely phenomenal <laughs> you 
you go, dude. I've got your cap, and you're leaving with me right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this. This literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go. I'm telling you I need to finish this first. What is this exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. At least we skipped the dismal house. Where is this going straight to lead to now? The... It looks like I'm going back to the house, but yeah, at least we skipped the house and go and went straight to the murder basement. There you go. Jax walks with swagger like he's got he's got some you know he's got some swagger there you know I like it Jesus why is there all this blood whose blood is this could be Aiden's could be Lena's could be all the blood that he of all the lives he's taken probably that last one because we've dealt with the tra his trauma of Lena, and but we haven't dealt with the trauma of him being the fox. I can't get through here. I need to get up there. Is a madman, help us, save us. Oh my god. My house looks like a fucking crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? It's a madman, help us, save us. Yep, these are all the bodies that Aiden has... Tate has made. All the corpses. Jesus. Who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I 
I think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Aiden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. Yo! I'm yeah. back. This better work. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know. Dress for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands, souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle too. Some of the readings on the Broker Bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson, your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But... As our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, hold that thought one second. Okay. Ah, uh, what a beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though, because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to sell. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Oh. <clears throat> Wrench, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked at the Thames. On the books, he moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles it. People, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um... Is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rempart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yes. <laughs> Rempart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck. How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. Let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in a Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you gonna do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? Honestly? This is why you're running support, Pierce Senior. No. Honestly, there's no one better to listen about vendettas. No backseat revenging! No backseat revenging. <laughs> oh, I missed my exit. No backseat revenging. Oh, sorry! You'll be fine. <laughs> we'll claim that was intentional. Hold on, there's a thing over here that I want to go grab. Like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly. But I do kind of look up to Aiden, like he's my grumpy uncle. So you know, we're still equals. But he's more like my. Okay. 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 Second okay. cousin, brother, uncle. Okay, 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 but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Him and Jackson. Him and Jackson. Now hear me out! Wrench and Jackson. Just saying. Ah, still complicated. Bon, let's go.
Uh, I'm ready, yeah. I've completed all the side missions. Rip pause. disable this barge before Rampart hits international waters. Find the barge controls in the navigation room. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Sonic Blast. Shit. I'm locked out of the navigation controls. I'm gonna need to shut down the engine itself, but I don't know how to get to it. You like being hands-on. I bet your drone would come in handy for this. I am so proud of you right now. I'm tearing up. Face-off variety? <laughs> Keep it. 
No take backsies. You won't think it's funny when I return the favor. When the tissue necrotizes in your face, it feels like a knife stabbing into you. Hot, cold, hot, cold. But you'll feel it a thousand times worse. Because I don't believe in an eye for an eye. I believe in an eye for the whole fucking face! <gasps> That's not very Christian of you, Tommy! <laughs> I mean, this works. I can't summon him, but this is fine. But it works. up on a remote signal coming from the barge and massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold he's activated something something big get ready for a fight it's probably like a mech or something you know like a mecha with him piloting it or something because we we all know that rampart has no original ideas in his life Sergey. Oh, uh, I am going to change out. Oh, never mind. I was going to put in my co my grenade launcher, but oh well. Lower. Are you as low as you can gonna get? Okay, yeah. First, clear the meat, uh, clear the field a bit.
Hey, man. Oh god, what is happening? And it crashed. Of course it did. <sighs> Alright. Bear with me while I fix this. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> oh, you found me. Are you now? You're really not.
I've had a real challenge next time. up on a remote signal coming from the barge and massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold he's activated something something big get ready for a fight The Mark II, piloted by a human, no broker bridge needed. Oh, fuck me. Care for a demonstration? Yeah, a mech. Jackson! Aiden! How do I fight this thing? Nothing you've got will get you through those shields. Hang in there. We'll find a way to get them down.
Okay, here we go. And that is... I'll crush your spine and make you beg for death. Talk dirty to me, Daddy. Oh, shoot. Fuck me. Hi, pity, bitch. Glowy weak spots. Got it. Oh god. That's not enough to take me down. That should help. Just finish it off. Think your little gadgets can stand up to this? Get back here! I'm not finished with you! Oh god. Oh, 
See where that uh checkpoint was. If we got a checkpoint. We didn't get a checkpoint. Oh, this is bullshit. Until I've made you suffer! You like that move? You're welcome, man. CPU temperature is dangerous and high. enough to take me down. Take it! It's taking a lot of 
damage. That's it. Now just finish it off. I need some ammo first. Think your little gadgets can stand up to this? Oh god. Get back here! I'm not finished with you! Use. Yes, it is. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me. Oh, I've got one way. with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. <laughs> we're gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. <sighs> Sitara, Josh, Marcus. Yeah, that, that's one way to guarantee a death. Your neighborhood spider wrench? Courtesy of your friendly neighborhood, Spider Wrench. Spider Wrench, Spider Wrench, does whatever Spider, spider Wrench can. Hacks the web and time. Catch thieves just like flies. Watch out, there went the Spider Wrench. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Everything I could have hoped for and more. Ah, uh, My only, only pain and regret was that we didn't get three games of the Aiden family drama. You know? Like, imagine how much more powerful that would have been with Jackson in his head and all that if we had another game of... Aiden dealing with his trauma, you know, and maybe seeing Aiden become uh, get broken down, you know. Hell, maybe even seeing the falling out between him and Jax, you know. Not that I don't love Marcus and Wrench, of course. I just wish that we'd gotten more Aiden, you know. I, what I wish, thinking about it now, I wish that the plot of Watch Dogs 2 had happened with Aiden as the playable character. Not, again, not that I don't love Marcus, but if Marcus was a side character, 
and Aiden was the protagonist. Because then we could have seen the how the, each of them interact with him and work to change him a bit. You know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I genuinely feel like I'm the only person in the world who likes Aiden Pierce as a character. And if I am, that's okay, you know? Oh, still, what we've got was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And they still could do more Watch Dogs games without having to go even further into the future, you know? Uh, you could just bring it back to the modern day and have this be a uh, a uh, simulation that T-Bone was running to see what might happen type of a thing, you know? And then T-Bone has to get Aiden on side with Marcus and Wrench and them to work with uh, DeadSec to prevent the potentiality of this kind of shit, you know? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. No notes. Well, some notes, but nothing important. All right, do we have anything? I won't lie. I didn't expect you to turn him over to <coughs> in custody. Well, I asked myself, what would Aiden Pierce do? And then I asked myself, is that who I really wanted to be? I'm... Look, no offense, big guy. I think you made the right call. Even if I wanted to smash him into teeny tiny little pieces and scatter them all over the Thames and turn him into seagull shit. Well, progress is a journey. What's next on yep. the docket for you? Heading home? Nah, I think I might hang around London for a bit, wrap up a few things. But I do think I'll give Marcus a call, though. Actually, hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a selfie in front of Big Ben and send it to him. Or... <gasps> Maybe I should go to Buckingham Palace and steal a roll of some royal TV. <laughs> get him a souvenir. Great. Looks like whatever trouble you get into, we'll have to fish you out of it. Aw, that's so sweet. What a nice family moment. We really do make the dream team, don't we? Jackson and his two uncles. Two uncles? Shh, shh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, do we have any other, any missions? Any at all? Nope, all right. Well. Where is our, come on. Looks like the three of you got a lot done together. Call me impressed. Truly, I am a miracle worker. Yeah, if you lot are sticking around for a bit, I could use a hand down the road. One of my contacts managed to find a dead sick member who survived the London attacks. She's been hiding out in the north this whole time. We need to set yep, up a communication her. link with her. No problem, oh, Connie. We got this. Great. Once I've gathered all the details, I'll be in touch. Okay, let's say it all together now. Go team! Aiden, come on, man. Get a, get a say with me. Come on. Go, go, go team! No. <laughs> oh, I can swap between them. Yes! Just a second. Be careful. All right. 
now. Um, Bonnie, I've already done all your missions. You know? Anyway. I don't remember where... Uh, put all those collectibles that I... That part of me is saying I need to get, but I kind of really don't want to get. There it is. That's the tower I was looking for. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, we are a bit early. There it is. Wrench. Because Wrench wants to get a selfie in front of the, the clock tower. Excuse me. Anyway, so no mission. Oh, was she just setting? Were they just setting up for the main? Yeah, they were just setting up for the intro to to connect A to B. Aiden, are you here? Or is it just? Message saved for 65 days. Hey, I'm gonna get right to it, so just be straight with me. Why am I seeing chatter about Wrench out there again? What happened to leaving all that behind? I hope you know what you're doing. Just, if you're in trouble, hit me up, all right? I didn't have time to give you a mounted Gatling laser gun. The next time, little buddy. Promise. There he is. Hey, buddy. Can I talk to Jack? No? What would be cool is if Jax was one of the ones I could swap to, you know? Oh, well. Anyway, well, there's nothing really left to do in this part of the game. So let's quit the main menu. We technically have like half an hour ish. You know what? Let's poke into Legion of the Un of the Dead. Players streaming the game will automatically share their voice chat, text chat and friends list with their viewers. If you choose to interact with a streamer, your interactions may be recorded and broadcasted. Okay. But it's friends only. One player minimum. London has been overrun by zombies. <clears throat> Remaining members of Albion and Clan Kelly have hunkered down and are hoarding supplies. Gather supply packages as you make your way through the city to get to the extraction point before time runs out. Team co coordination and communication are key to survival. Using a microphone is recommended. Other players will not be able to join once the session has started. 
We're just gonna try it out. You know, why not? What am I gonna play now that we've beaten this game, though? Because there's not another Watch Dogs game yet, at least. Um... Hmm. Okay. So you can't do stealth kills on zombies in this. Got it. Sucks, but got it. All right. Power up, supply packages. All right, let's go this way. Oh, I know exactly where this was from the main game. <laughs> yep. Okay, interesting. You hear my voice? And you turn on your bedroom.
Close the door. Oh, boy. All right, I'm just going to crouch right here real quick. Buy a package over here. Oh, geez, that's a lot. Two more on the other side. One more, and then we can just head for extraction. Okay.
Nope. <laughs> oh god, that's not much better. Extraction's right there. If we hit the power up and then hit one of these supply things on the way, that sh we should be fine. That is pretty fun. I'm not sure. I'm. Let me just say it this way. I'm glad that it's a side, uh, a side extra thing rather than uh, the main way to play the game. You know, like I don't think. I think there's enough games like that out there. Uh, that it, I don't think, you know, I, I don't, I don't think, uh, it's that, uh, groundbreaking of a mode, basically. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> <clears throat> well I think we're going to call it there even though it's not quite 10 o'clock yet um, as for what we're going to play uh, what we're going to play on Wednesdays now that I'm done with that with Watch Dogs I'm not sure. I have some possibilities. Like I'm thinking like like it depends on if I'm ready to start another series or if I just want to play a single game or what, you know? Um I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um <sighs> I don't know. I'm thinking. I'll think about it. I have till next week to decide anyway. Um, I know games that I want to play on stream. Um, uh, I can just list a few of them. Uh, see here, where are they? Uh, here we go. Um, Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. Um, not played that one before. Uh, awesome Adventures of Cap uh, Adventures of Captain Spirit, Borderlands series, uh, Dishonored series. Um, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, Journey. If I had the people to play it with, keep talking and nobody explodes. I, 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 from all the gameplay I've seen of that game, I would love it. I just need the right people, you know? Um, and none of my friends are that's that are into it are into it, you know? 
um life is strange i keep get like something keeps happening every time i try to play life is strange something happens that's fucking either delete like i think twice i've gotten to the exact same spot like about two-thirds of the way through or so and lost my game save for one reason or another it's kind of funny but yeah the life is strange series um i want to play the mass effect legendary edition uh because i adore mass effect and i want to i want to see the uh the remastered version of it you know i want to check that out see what differences there are firsthand ori in the blind forest and ori of ori and the will of the wisps but basically ori um oxen free is on my list as well um past within uh quantum break um sonic games but the thing that I'm kind of mainly leaning towards right now is the Spyro Reignited trilogy because I missed those the first time around when they first came out. Um, and I adored Spyro back. Like, I adored the trailers and the things I'd seen and the demos I'd played. I adored it. Um, but for one reason or another, it i missed it um so i'm thinking i might go with that next assuming there's not another game that i want to play that's just like a quick one like you know one stream game kind of a thing for as as like a palette cleanser type of a thing just because we had spent so long on watchdogs on wednesdays like Watch Dogs was the first game I played on when uh, that I streamed on Wednesdays. And you know, like I have not played any other games on Wednesdays since. You know, just because it was the first it's been the first and only game I streamed on Wednesday. We had Assassin's Creed on Monday. Well, other than other than uh that's not counting the the the, the crossover streams with Yvonne and Howie and Matt um but anyway uh so I might want to play something that's just like a quick one stream like three four hour game kind of thing um but the problem is I don't think I have any of those left you know I have to be careful because I, I I also very much have to be careful because um i don't want to accidentally uh dip into my late to the bandwagon uh my friday stream uh, pool uh so like um some of those games i listed like horizon zero dawn and, and some of those other ones are my are potentials for my Friday streams because they're ones that I've not played before um so I don't know but yeah I'm thinking yeah I'm thinking we'll probably do something we'll do Spyro I'm thinking because uh my my friend who goes by the queen has been asking for it for a while has been asking for me to put a Spyro uh, to stream Spyro for a while now, like a while, like back since the first Lord of the Rings, uh, Shadow of Mordor game. When I first started streaming that, she, she'd ask me, uh, if I was going to play Spyro, um, or if I could play Spyro. And that was, that was before they'd even announced the reignited trilogy um because i was initially like i'm sorry i can't because it's not on pc and then they announced that like literally a week later they announced the Ign reignited trilogy and i was like oh well okay hey guess what i guess i can <laughs> anyway 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 so yeah that's that's where we're at and you know what like 
talking about it like i said that watchdogs was the first wednesday game i played that wasn't a crossover with yvonne and them and that kind of means that this isn't the end of an era you know oh man ah it's just the end of an era it would be the same it would be the same as if i had uh caught up on assassin's creed you know caught up to the most recent the most recently re released assassin's creed and had to find something else to play on mondays or when i run out when i inevitably run out of tomb raider games you know the end of an era now i will say for tomb raider when we catch up to tomb raider uh there is the uh, remastered edition of the of the traditional of not traditional of the original three that I want to pick up and and stream um, but I want to finish what we're currently doing before we do that you know um, and uh, I want to uh, also there is the I've mentioned it a few times there's the Tomb Raider uh, tabletop RPG that they released um, called something Phoenix uh hold hold please mark of the phoenix um and i want to get the right group of people together for that um so like i have plans for post for when we when we catch up on the tomb raider series but still you know anyway 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 uh that's it from me for the night uh that's it from watchdogs until they come out with a new game if they come out with a new game um Thanks for taking this ride with me. Um, and we'll be back to the usuals on Friday. Because remember, I don't stream on, on Thursdays. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be back on Friday. And until then, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> in that link tree below. Sorry, I just had my throat suddenly decided, you know what? You're going to die <laughs> right now on stream. Uh, not that there haven't been people who've done that in reality. Anyway, check out these amazing people I've listed up here. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, you should absolutely check it out because it's where you can find where you can. Uh, it'll, it points you to all the other places where you can find me in one form or another. Um... And it also will point you to this Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, where you can support me and, you know, help me make my content better and help me produce, continue to make this content. But uh, anyway, non-compulsory. It's all if you feel like it. Um, and if not, I won't hold it against you. You know, it is what it is. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in tonight. Like I said before, we'll be back on Friday. And so in the meantime, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.